What's up everybody, Nate here from Out of the Basement bringing you a brand new video today. I'm going to be showing off since the first time since 2017, my entire Blu-ray collection. It's been a long time since I've done my entire collection video and my collection has definitely pretty much stayed around the same number of titles. I usually will sell off stuff to buy more stuff because I got a limited amount of space, but I have just over 500-ish titles, mostly consisting of horror movies, but I also have tons of other stuff. And in the interest of not making this video super crazy long, I'm sure it's gonna be long just because I have so many, but uh, most of the movies I'm just gonna kind of show, tell you the title and move it right along. So I'm gonna crack open a sparkling ice and we are gonna get on this Blu-ray train. We're gonna start with my horror movie shelf. I divide my movies by uh, releasing company. Uh, if I have enough of said releasing company, uh, like your Arrow video, your Scream Factory, that kind of thing. So we're gonna start with my Arrow video Blu-rays. All right, first up, we've got 12 Monkeys, which is a pretty awesome movie. Uh, with the slip cover. Then we've got Alice Sweet Alice, Audition, A Bay of Blood, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, Big Trouble in Little China, The Black Cat, Shit in My Freaking Eyeball, Blood and Black Lace, Blood Rage, Really Fun Slasher, Brain Damage, City of the Living Dead, one of my favorite uh, Fulci films, Climax, Don't Torture a Duckling, The Giver, childhood favorite of mine, love this movie, great release from Arrow as well. And uh, this is region free. Uh, not available in the United States, but it is coming to Canada randomly uh, soon. But yeah, this is a region free release. Life Force, which is a region B title. Maniac Cop, Rage of Honor, which is a movie I found for $5 at FYE. I'll take a $5 Arrow video. The Ring, this is the region B version. The Stuff, Torso. And then I've got two steel books here. That was the end of all of my standard Arrow videos. Uh, Bride of Reanimator and society. Now we're gonna move on to my Arrow limited editions. First up, recently picked this one up and that's American Werewolf in London, The Cat of Nine Tails, Crimson Peak, great Guillermo del Toro movie, Deep Red, a Dario Argento classic that I love, and probably one of my rarest Blu-rays in my entire collection and that is the limited edition of Django. Got this from Amazon, uh, I got lucky. And before the cease and desist happened with Arrow Video, uh, Amazon sent out my copy. So I got this for regular retail price, which now this thing goes for quite the pretty penny, but I would never sell this because I actually love this movie. It's one of my favorite spaghetti westerns and the transfer is beautiful on this release. Then we've got The Hills Have Eyes, the Old Boy Trilogy. This is a Region B release. This is, uh, Old Boy, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, and Lady Vengeance. Cool release. And we've got Reanimator. Love this movie. Probably my favorite horror movie of all time, although it's mostly a comedy. And its sequel, Bride of Reanimator. Again, love this movie as well. A movie so nice, I bought it twice. Then to wrap up my limited editions, we've got Robocop. Fantastic movie. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, really old Arrow Video Region B release. Happy to have this one. Then I've got a couple movie collections, the Region B Hellraiser Trilogy and the House Collection, which is actually region free. It says it's B, but every single title is A and B. Even the first, uh, well, I think the first two are region free and then the second two say they're B only, yeah. So three and four say they're B only, but they're actually not. They're also region A. And then I've got a couple more old, old Arrow releases, which I do like collecting these ones. These are pretty cool. The old window package. I've got uh, Tenebrae, Dario Argento classic, Deep Red, and The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. So those were all of my Arrow video titles. Let's move on to my Scream Factory collection. Okay, so first up, I've got some box sets. The first one is the Amityville Horror Trilogy. Picked this one up at Walmart when that was a thing back a few years ago. And the Wreck Collection. This is Wreck 1 through 4. Then I've got some steel books here. The first one is Escape from New York. Then Halloween 2, the best Halloween sequel. Then with my regular Scream Factories, starting out, we've got Army of Darkness, Assault on Precinct 13, the Autopsy of Jane Doe, The Babadook, with the uh, little 
pop-up slip. Body Bags, a great, hilarious, uh, goofy horror comedy. Black Christmas, amazing film, one of my favorite slashers of all time. Then we've got the second boutique Blu-ray I ever bought, and that is The Burning. Then we got Candyman. We got Candyman 2, Child's Play, Creep Show, limited edition. Love this movie. Dance Macabre, Dawn of the Dead, the remake. Day of the Dead, the original classic. Dog Soldiers, Dolls, rest in peace, Stuart Gordon. Drag Me to Hell, really awesome uh, Sam Raimi throwback movie. The Editor, Exorcist 3, From Beyond, Hell Knight, House on Haunted Hill, the uh, remake. Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2, Lake Placid, great uh, childhood movie. Always loved watching this one as a kid. Land of the Dead, Lord of Illusion. Mad Max, Manhunter, Misery, My Bloody Valentine, great slasher movie, Night of the Demons, pretty fun 80s movie, goofy as hell, The People Under the Stairs, Pet Cemetery 2, this movie was a, was a hoot, Prince of Darkness, great underrated John Carpenter film, Rabid, Return of the Living Dead 1, Return of the Living Dead 2, The Serpent and the Rainbow, Sleepaway Camp, Silent Hill, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1, Slither, Swamp Thing, Love the character, terrible movie. Tales from the Hood, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Love this one. The Thing, Trick or Treat, one of my all-time favorite horror movies. Valentine, a pretty good uh, early 2000s slasher. And then a box set I forgot about because I have it stored somewhere else uh, on display. That is the Halloween 15 disc collection. Love this box set, it's absolutely amazing crazy how expensive it's gotten over the years, but uh, it's a must for any Halloween fan. And then I have one shout select, and that is The Burbs. So those were all my Scream Factory titles. Now we're gonna move on to my just general horror movie collection. So let's go. I'm starting off with some collections. I've got the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street complete collection. Well, not the remake. This is the original seven. Then I have the Friday the 13th tin, which has all 12 movies in it. Love this set, although it definitely does have some problems. And if the rumors are true and Scream Factory is releasing a new box set, well, looks like I'm double dipping. And we've got 28 days slash 28 weeks later. Absurd from Severn Films. All Colors of the Dark. This is the Shameless Entertainment release. Love the Shameless Blu-rays, the yellow Annabelle creation. Pretty good film. American Psycho, not my favorite, but uh, my mom found this for me at Goodwill, so, you know, I'll take it. Then we have Ash vs. Evil Dead, the complete series, the season one and two on Steelbook, and the first season just with the lenticular slip. Never got a chance to finish this one, but season one and two were pretty awesome. Then we've got The Barn, a really fun indie horror movie. Got to uh, meet the creators at a convention. They were super nice, so definitely wanted to pick up the Blu-ray. Behind the Mask, the non-Scream Factory version. Better Watch Out, pretty fun Christmas horror home invasion style movie. Black Sunday from Kino. The Black Waters of Echo's Pond, which is a very random movie. I actually saw this in theaters and then it didn't come out on Blu-ray for like five years after it came out. Uh, in theaters. It was a crazy long time and that's literally the only reason I bought it because uh, it triggered memories in my mind. Then we have the Blair Witch Project and the Blair Witch, the soft sequel reboot. Put a red case on the uh, Blair Witch here. Bone Tomahawk. The Bye Bye Man, which you guys are going to see a lot of shitty modern horror movies in my collection and that is because me and my friends absolutely love watching these movies and just ripping on them the whole time. The Bye Bye Man is a classic in terms of terrible, shitty modern horror. Chernobyl Diaries, another SMH movie as we like to call them. Christine, classic John Carpenter movie. And we've got the Chucky 7 film collection. The Conjuring 1, The Collector, The Collection, The Creature from the Black Lagoon trilogy, my favorite uh, universal monster. Crystal Lake Memories, which is an amazing five-hour documentary about Friday the 13th. The old Anchor Bay Dawn of the Dead Blu-ray, which I actually picked this up at a second in Charles a couple years ago for only $12. They had no idea what they had, and I was so happy to find this. Although, of course, this is about to be irrelevant when that awesome 4K set comes out later this year. The Dead 2, Dead Silence, pretty awesome James Wan movie. The Descent, Classic modern horror. This is how you do modern horror right. And we've got Digging Up the Marrow, 
Don't Breathe, Dracula and Frankenstein 2-Pack, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Evil Dead Unrated Remake, Evil Dead Remake Steelbook, The Original Exorcist. This is the uh, extended director's cut. Wish I had the theatrical Blu-ray, but that one is pretty expensive. The Fanatic, a uh, modern classic. Son of a bitch. Final Stab. Terrible movie. Four Flies on Grey Velvet, another shameless release. The Fly with a stupid cardboard artwork thing here over the OG cover, but I just kept it there because why not? Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein, both the Alex Ross steel books. Love these covers. Super awesome releases. From Dusk Till Dawn, one and two. The Gallows, Ghosts of Mars, terrible movie. Good Night Mommy, great movie. Grave Encounters 2, Grave Encounters 1 does not have a Blu-ray, but I do own it. Grindhouse, double feature, love this one. Hatchet 1, great. Hatchet 2, pretty good. Hatchet 3, eh. Victor Crowley, pretty good. Next up, I've got the theatrical versions of Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and 2, which are the superior versions of those movies. Halloween 6, this is with the uh, VHS cover. Love Halloween 6. Happy Birthday to Me. Happy Death Day. The Hills Have Eyes remake. Hobo with a Shotgun. The Host. The House is October Built. The House of the Devil, a Ty West joint. Then we have I Saw the Devil, It Follows, Itchy the Killer, In the Mouth of Madness, Incarnate, The Innkeepers, Inside, Brutal, Brutal, French Extremity Film, Insidious 1, Insidious 2, Insidious 3, No Insidious 4, a bootleg copy of Jason Goes to Hell, the unrated cut on Blu-ray, Krampus, Laid to Rest on DVD, Laid to Rest 2, Leatherface, Lords of Salem, my favorite Rob Zombie horror film, Maniac Remake, fantastic movie, Martyrs, brutal French extremity movie, although I think Inside is a little bit rough. Martyrs US Remake, haven't watched this one yet, but uh, it's probably shitty, so picked it up. Mimic Trilogy, Monsters, My Bloody Valentine 3D, Nightmare on Elm Street Remake with the Lenticular Slip. Night of the Living Dead remake, fantastic movie, and Oculus. Opera, Ouija 2 film collection, bought this because Ouija Origin of Evil, it's actually a good movie. Ouija 1, sucks. Paranormal Activity 1, 2, 3, Marked Ones, and that's it. Phantasm, Piranha, Psycho, my signed copy of Return of the Living Dead, The Ring, The Ruins, Saw Collection, Scream Collection, Scream 4, Shark Knight, Silent Night remake, Sinister 1, Slender Man, great, great shitty modern horror film. The Strangers, Texas Chainsaw 3D, garbage movie, but uh, had to get it for the Texas Chainsaw collection. And we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original, classic, love this movie. The Thing prequel, Tourist Trap, Train to Busan, great foreign zombie movie. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, pretty awesome horror comedy. Unsane, The Void, VHS 2, The Ward, We Are Still Here, the Wicker Man remake, Wish Upon, great shitty modern horror movie, The Witch, Steelbook, The Woman in Black, Your Next, The Mist and 1408 2 pack, The Queens of Scream from Mill Creek. This is uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer, When a Stranger Calls, and Vacancy. Then we're getting into my Blue Underground titles. We got The Crazies, House by the Cemetery. Inferno, Dario Argento's second best movie. The Prowler, great 80s slasher. Shockwaves, classic zombie movie. Two Evil Eyes, my very first boutique Blu-ray I ever bought, Zombie, the two disc edition. Check out this wonderful photo of me as a sophomore in high school holding this up for some reason. The Beyond, Shredder, an early 2000s uh, snowboarding slasher, great soundtrack. Then we're gonna get into my Vestron video titles. I've got Chopping Mall, Waxwork 1 and 2, the Wishmaster Collection, the Warlock Collection, which that's out of order. Oh wait, never mind. They're by number. They're by number. I know my alphabet. Beyond Reanimator, Dagon. Then we've got some Vinegar Syndrome titles here. We got Slaughterhouse with the split cover. This movie was a lot of fun. Unmasked Part 25, a weird British comedy that kind of has to do with Friday the 13th. Interesting movie. Then we've got Jack Frost with the lenticular slip. And then I've just got some more random stuff that I didn't mix in with my collection yet. Uh, Never Hike Alone, the first and second pressing. This is a Friday the 13th fan film, really good stuff. MVD's Return of Swamp Thing. Uh, the uh, Mondo Vision release of Possession, great movie, censoring the cover. I've got Poultry Geist. Escape Room, and uh, Masters of Horror, the complete first season. 
So, whew, those were all of my horror movies. Next, we're going to move on to my 4K titles. Okay, so we've got 2001 A Space Odyssey. Great film. One of the best science fiction films of all time. Alien. Another fantastic science fiction film. Annihilation. Another fantastic science fiction film. Apocalypse Now. Haven't got a chance to watch this one yet, but it was super cheap on Amazon. Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Endgame. Bad Times at the El Royale. Black Klansman. Blade Runner 2049, this is the uh, awesome steelbook. Cabin in the Woods, a really fun horror comedy, I'd say, yeah, horror comedy. Doctor Sleep, Dread, Dunkirk. This is the Studio Canal set of The Fog, which is uh, does have a 4K disc for the actual movie, but the bonus features and such are region B locked on a Blu-ray. First Blood, First Man, Godzilla King of the Monsters, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Hacksaw Ridge, Halloween, the original classic. <clears throat> Hereditary, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. It Chapter 1. Do not have It Chapter 2, because that movie was a piece of garbage, but uh, still like Chapter 1. Iron Man 3. I randomly got this because it was uh, mispriced for like, a, it was literally like $5, so I wanted to pick it up because it was a 4K for 5 bucks. Leon the Professional. Logan Lucky, pretty fun movie. Logan, one of the best comic book movies of all time. And Mad Max Fury Road. Fantastic movie. This is actually the regular Blu-ray case, but I just popped the regular Blu-rays out and then put the, the 4K in there. This code's redeemed, so don't even try it. But yeah, this is the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook case. And we've got Man of Steel, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Overlord, the Neon Demon, this is a German release, but it's uh, actually cheaper to buy this from German Amazon and get it shipped here than it is to buy the regular Blu-ray. Pacific Rim, one of my all-time favorite movies. Love this movie to death. Pet Cemetery, the original classic. Uh, really enjoy this movie, and it's a cool Mondo steelbook. Predator, the three-film collection, because there are only three Predator movies. Rambo 4, probably the best uh, sequel to Rambo, easily, by a by probably a country mile. Love this one. The Revenant, a great movie. Beautiful movie on 4K as well. Shape of Water, another fantastic movie that I absolutely enjoy. Love Guillermo del Toro. Shazam, a movie I haven't seen yet, but I bought it on Black Friday. And here's my final stack of 4Ks here. We got The Shining, uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. Love the way this looks. Solo, one of the better modern Star Wars movies. The Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, the Holy trilogy. I actually found this at FYE of all places for like 20 bucks, so I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, easily one of the best modern Spider-Man movies. Starship Troopers, an absolute classic film. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Really liked this movie, but uh, in all honesty, I have not watched this since I bought it, so might be looking to get rid of it. Tomb Raider, found this at a pawn shop for $3. War for the Planet of the Apes, fantastic movie. Great ending to the trilogy. Watchmen, another one of my favorite comic book movies of all time, although unfortunately the 4K disc is only the ultimate cut, which is just so unbelievably long. But the director's cut is awesome. And then we've got The Witch, another great modern horror movie, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, yet again. Love this movie to pieces. So that was all of my 4K movies. Now we're going to move on to the couple Criterion Collection films that I own. First up, we've got Haxan, House, Night of the Living Dead, The Silence of the Lambs, Scanners, then we've got Bottle Rocket, The Darjeeling Limited, Fantastic Mr. Fox, the Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou, my favorite Wes Anderson film. Moonrise Kingdom, The Royal Tenenbaums, and Rushmore. David Lynch, The Art Life, Mulholland Drive. The Guillermo del Toro trilogy, this is Kronos, The Devil's Backbone, and Pan's Labyrinth. Love these movies. Have not watched Kronos yet, but Devil's Backbone and Pan's Labyrinth are excellent. And my last criterion is Videodrome. Another really awesome, strange movie. So now this is my last company that I have where I sort of section off the movies into their releasing company. These are going to be all of my A24 releases. Used to really love their releases and the movies they put out. Still love the movies they put out, but they've been really, really slacking on a lot of their modern releases. 
So first up, we've got the Adderall Diaries, Ballad of Lefty Brown, The Black Coat's Daughter, The Captive, Climax, again, so nice, I bought it twice, The Disaster Artist, Enemy, fantastic movie, Ex Machina, another really awesome A24 film. Of course, this is also directed by Alex Garland. First Reformed, Good Time. This is the uh, Safdie Brothers previous film. If you guys are out there and you saw Uncut Gems and you really liked it, highly recommend you check out Good Time. I think this one is even better. Then we've got Green Room, which is a movie I just recently rewatched and I absolutely loved it again. Great film. It Comes at Night, another really awesome psychological horror thriller a lot this movie got shit on a lot when it came out because it was definitely marketed poorly but still really enjoyed it killing of a sacred deer if you guys know yorgos lanthimos you know this movie totally weird uh very almost stanley kubrick-esque at least in the cinematography but this was a really interesting one the lighthouse which was my favorite movie of 2019 love this movie to pieces i've probably watched it three times already since i've owned the blu-ray and it just keeps getting better and better it's funny it's scary it's got a lot of goofy moments that i just absolutely love very quotable movie as well the lobster another yorgos lanthimos film which uh i didn't like this as much as the killing of a sacred deer but this one was still pretty awesome and we've got Locke, mid-90s, which I did enjoy a lot, uh, especially growing up skateboarding. I definitely had a real nice connection with this movie. Mississippi Grind, Mojave, Moonlight. Then we've got The Rover, Sea of Trees, Son of a Gun with our boy Ewan, Spring Breakers, the Harmony Corinne film. Love this movie, a lot of fun. Under the Silver Lake, which is from the director of It Follows, and this was a very, very strange horny and cryptic movie uh definitely need to watch it again because i don't think i fully understood it on my first watch which is okay some movies you aren't supposed to get the first time under the skin another really really strange movie but i absolutely loved it it's so enchanting watching this movie it's just a trip from beginning to end then we've also got woodshock and this is my final a24 film have not watched this one yet then I've got some random anime. I've got more anime mixed in to my shelf once we get further down, but this stuff I just had separate. Uh, Akira, the Berserk movie trilogy, definitely not as good as the 97 anime, but this one is leaps and bounds better than Berserk 2017 and beyond that. Cowboy Bebop, probably my favorite anime of all time. Of course, you guys hear us endlessly talk about this. Cowboy Bebop, the movie. Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Um, haven't watched this one in a long time, so I'd be curious to see how I feel about it these days. But when I was younger in high school and late middle school, I absolutely loved this movie. So much fun. Gundam 0083. Have not watched this yet, but I found it for a great price, so I wasn't going to pass it up because I'm sure if you guys collect anime out there, you know that it is unbelievably expensive. So always got to pick up the deals when you can. And then we've got Gundam Char's Counter-Attack. Great Gundam film. Of course, it's not going to make sense unless you watch a couple previous Gundam series before you watch this one, but when you do, it's a banger. Okay, so now we're going to get into just my alphabetized rest of my movie collection. Okay, so we've got 99 Homes, 2010, Aliens, Alien Resurrection. I don't have Alien 3, and I honestly don't know why alien 3 is definitely better than resurrection alien versus predator alien versus predator requiem american animals american beauty anaconda anchorman the austin powers trilogy avengers 1 age of ultron baby driver basketball now we're getting into my batmans we've got batman 89 batman returns batman forever batman and robin then we have The Dark Knight Returns, part one and two. This is a really awesome adaptation of the classic comic book. Batman Mask of the Phantasm, which uh, is uh, not the best Blu-ray. It switches aspect ratios, which is very annoying, but uh, still probably one of the best Batman movies, period. Batman Under the Red Hood, really good uh, animated Batman film. Batman Begins, Batman vs. Superman, The Beach Bum, Bernie, The Big Lebowski, Birdman, Black Dynamite, really funny movie, love this one, Blade, Blade 2, Blade Runner, Boogie Nights, a great uh, film for the whole family, 
Brawl in Cell Block 99, cashing out, a uh, friend of the channel, Alex, my friend in real life, uh, this is his movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You can rent it on Amazon Prime, or you could buy the Blu-ray, which has a nice little quote from your boys on the back there. Hopefully you can see that. Casino Royale, my favorite James Bond film. Casper, Captain America 1990, Captain America the First Avenger, Winter Soldier, Chappie, Clockwork Orange, Commando, one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Love this one. Conan the Barbarian, probably my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I love this movie to pieces. The remake, which is definitely nowhere near as good, but it is still very entertaining, and I love Jason Momoa. Then Constantine with Keanu Reeves. Colossal with the lenticular slip. This awesome big collector's edition of Coraline, which I found at Five Below one time. Love this movie. One of the best animated movies, in my opinion. Cure for Wellness, The Dark Crystal, The Depotted, Django Unchained, my second favorite Quentin Tarantino film. Then we've got District 9, Dogma, and check out that price there, $2. Hopefully you guys can see that, $2. Double Dragon, Drive, classic movie, modern classic, I should say, Elysium, The Expendables uh, from Blockbuster. I've always kept it in the Blockbuster case for memories. I've got a few blockbuster pickups sprinkled throughout eyes wide shut forrest gump full metal jacket fury and galaxy quest great movie then we have the mill creek gamera trilogy this is gamera guardian of the universe attack of the legion and revenge of iris and we've got get out ghost in the shell ghost in the shell the anime the girl with the dragon tattoo then we've got a bunch of godzilla stuff we've got godzilla 2014 godzilla 84 Godzilla vs. King Ghidra and Godzilla and Mothra, The Battle for Earth. Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Destroya, and Godzilla vs. Mechagirus. Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidra, Giant Monsters All Out Attack, and Godzilla against Mechagodzilla. Love both of these ones. These are two of my favorite Godzilla films. Then we've got Godzilla Tokyo SOS and Godzilla Final Wars again two more bangers in the Godzilla universe. Then we've got Godzilla 2000, not to be confused with the American one, and then the Mothra trilogy. Moving on, we've got GoldenEye, Gone Girl, The Dark Knight Rises. I don't know why this wasn't next to Batman Begins, but Dark Knight Rises. I don't have The Dark Knight because I had that really old uh, stupid mask version of The Dark Knight, and I was going to buy it on 4K, but then I just kind of forgot about it. So, uh... Yeah, I don't have The Dark Knight right now. Grand Budapest Hotel, great Wes Anderson movie. Green Lantern, Don't Ask, The Guest, really fun sci-fi film. Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, one of the best Harry Potters. I don't have all the Harry Potter movies, so don't kill me. Then we've got Half-Blood Prince, probably my favorite Harry Potter movie. Deathly Hollows Part 1, Deathly Hollows Part 2. Hardcore Henry, The Hateful Eight, my favorite Quentin Tarantino movie. Hell or High Water, the Hellboy animated movies. Sword of Storms and Blood and Iron. Hellboy 1, and I actually bought this, and then they, Hellboy 2 was also on the inside. It is not advertised as having uh, Hellboy 2 in this pack at all, but I bought it used, and I guess whoever sold it used put both in there, so I have both in one convenient location. Imperium and The Incredibles. Keeping this train rolling, we've got Inglorious Bastards, another great Quentin Tarantino movie. In the Valley of Violence, really, really dug this one. This one's from Ty West. Interstellar, Iron Man 1 in the Blockbuster case. Iron Man 2, Isle of Dogs. Jaws, can't wait for the 4K of this. Jonah Hex, Don't Ask. Kick-Ass 1 in the Blockbuster case. Kick-Ass 2, not in the Blockbuster case. Kill Bill 1, and Kill Bill 2, and Killer Joe. All right, we are trucking along here. Here we go. Kingsman, Kubo, Lego Batman, The Lego Movie, the 15 disc Lord of the Rings Blu-ray box set, Logan, this is the uh, black and white disc because the 4K version I bought did not have it, so I picked this up at Family Video for like a dollar. Machete, signed by Danny Trejo. Here is my regular Blu-ray copy of Mad Max. You can see it, it's in the 4K case, but I'm just housing it in there. Mallrats, the Matrix Trilogy, Memento, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, Minority Report, Mission Impossible 1, Mission Impossible 3, Ghost Protocol, Rogue Nation, then we've got Mom and Dad, Moon, really awesome uh, film, Moonwalkers, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation, 
which is uh, hilarious. Love watching that one. The Nice Guys, Nightcrawler, really awesome movie. And we've got Nocturnal Animals, Odd Thomas with the lenticular slipcover, Only God Forgives, another great Nicholas Winding Refn film, Pacific Rim Uprising, paid $2 for it. I keep that sticker on there as a reminder. Pandorum, Paranorman, love this one. Parasite, wish I didn't buy this Blu-ray knowing that it was gonna be getting a 4K and a Criterion release. Pathfinder, Phantom Thread, the Planet of the Apes collection. This is the original Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Escape from the Planet of the Apes, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, and Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Love these movies. Popstar, The Prestige, Prometheus, and Punisher Warzone Blockbuster Edition. Moving right along, we have the Raid 1 and 2, Regular Show Season 1 and 2, Regular Show Season 3. I wish... We could have gotten the rest of regular show released on DVD here in the States, but apparently that did not happen. The Road, Saving Private Ryan, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Scary Movie 2, Seven, Seven Psychopaths, Shutter Island, Silence, Sin City 1, Sin City 2, The Sisters Brothers, Skyfall, great film, Snowpiercer, great film, So I Married an Axe Murderer, The, so the Social Network, Source Code, South Park, Bigger, Longer, Uncut, Star Trek 09, Star Trek Beyond, Into Darkness is Missing on Purpose, Star Trek The Next Generation Motion Picture Collection, Star Trek 2: The Wrath of Khan, The Prequels of Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Rogue One, yes there are Star Wars movies that are missing there for a reason, Step Brothers, Spaceballs, Spotlight, Sucker Punch, Split, Terminator 1, Terminator 3, Terminator Salvation, This is the End, Tropic Thunder, True Grit, and the Turtles Trilogy. A nice fat Blu-ray pile going on over here. Okay, so this is about the end of my movies. Then after this, we've got my TV shows, and that's going to be it. So we are nearing the end here, folks. Walk Hard. Watchmen, the uh, collector's edition. This came with like the hardbound graphic novel and such. Watchmen, the steel book, so nice. I've bought it probably four times on Blu-ray now, but uh, just loved the way the steel book looked. Wolf of Wall Street, X-Men 1, X-Men 2, X-Men Origins Wolverine in the blockbuster case. Days of Future Past, Apocalypse, I bought this as a meme. X-Files Fight the Future, X-Files I Want to Believe. Then we've got Young Frankenstein, and my final movie is Zodiac. So there we go, those are all of my movies A to Z. Actually, I do have some random movies that for one reason or another I don't have mixed in. Looks like there's some anime in here too, so. First up, this is the Oats Studio Volume 1. These are all of Neil Blomkamp's short films. Chasing Amy, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Clerks 3-pack. This is a loop in the third anime that I bought just because it was $3, have not watched it. Afro Samurai, and then Afro Samurai The Complete Murder Sessions. This was a uh, partially region free or region B version, but um, my copies, my uh, Afro Samurai copy did not work, but uh, Afro Samurai Resurrection did work. So I ended up finding the uh, American release super cheap. And then we've got the Jurassic Park Trilogy, D super dusty edition. Okay, TV shows. Daredevil Season 1, Daredevil Season 2, Game of Thrones Season 1 on 4K, and we've got Season 2 Steelbook, Season 3 Steelbook, Season 4 Steelbook, then we've got Season 5 Regular, Season 6 without the slip, but it has the uh, lenticular right there, and Season 7 right here. I refused to buy Season 8 because it was a steaming pile of garbage. I mean, Season 6 and 7 weren't good either, but holy crap. Band of Brothers, The Pacific, Twin Peaks, The Entire Mystery. This was released before uh, Season 3, technically, but this has Season 1 and 2 and Fire Walk with me. Then we've got Twin Peaks, The Return, Planet Earth, Star Trek Discovery Season 1. Haven't watched this one yet. Swamp Thing, The Complete Series. Chernobyl, Amazing Show. Hatfields and McCoys, haven't watched this one yet. Legion, Lenticular Slip. And then we've got some uh, concert slash documentaries. Uh, we've got Filmage, The Story of Descendants and All, one of my favorite punk bands of all time. Iron Maiden, Flight 666, another classic uh, concert. Love Iron Maiden. This is a really great performance and uh, has so many classic, classic songs. 
Then we have Lady Gaga, the Monster Ball Tour, which I love Lady Gaga, really enjoy her music, and this is a great performance. Uh, a lot of good songs on this one. Okay, oh, and then it looks like I've got some random stuff here at the end, too. Westworld Season 1, this is the 4K Steelbook. And then randomly, I've got Dogtooth, the Yorgos Lanthimos movie, JFK in this uh, media book, and my last Blu-ray here, the Godfather Trilogy, the Omerta Edition. Everything else that's not in this video was in my March Blu-ray update, so if you want to watch that as well, you'll get a sense of my entire collection, but I didn't really feel like showing those off again because you've already seen them. But yeah, that is my entire collection. What did you guys think? Uh, I've been collecting Blu-rays since 2009. I've sold a lot. I've bought a lot. Really have maintained my collection throughout the years, uh, keeping it around a similar number i've never really gone beyond like the 500 ish titles i only have two bookshelves for my movies so once those get filled i usually start picking and choosing stuff i haven't watched in a really long time and i get rid of that so there you go thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed my video don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you are new we're always talking about blu-rays and the like of course i'm nate again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time